Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Modded Gungeon series. I'm going to play as the bullet this time because why not? It's been a really long time. Maybe we'll just do the speediest of runs. What the hell just happened? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Ah, that was so bizarre. I walked through like 16 doors there. Oh, did we just get a 50 banger? Thank you. We also got, I don't know what that was there. Re can, it, can it stop with the fucking rat keys, please? Gives a damage boost upon entering combat which deteriorates over time. Speed is key. That's exactly what I was just saying. Amazing. Um, but yeah, can it stop giving me rat keys, please? They're virtually useless. <laughs> like, I, I kind of get it because it allows you to go to the old west floor, but I, I kind of don't like the idea of being able to go to the old west floor without doing any of the prerequisites of, like, going to the rat. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Anyways. Let's see how good breaching rounds are. Oh, dude, that is a fat, fat damage up. Holy sugar tits, that's an insane damage up. It took so long to disappear as well. And I get that every room you're telling me? Wow, okay. When I said this was going to be a speed run, I wasn't super serious. But it seems like the game is basically gifting me this. Wow, okay. I like this. Also, Infinity Lockbox. Still can't really remember what that does. I think I saw Alexi use it a few times, and I'm fairly sure it wasn't very good. We should at least buy the key, to be honest. We just need some actual speed upgrades now, and we're good to go. I need to remember how to do guard flashing. I, I, I used to know for speedrunning purposes, but I can't remember now. Basically, guard flashing is a technique you can do with the... Uh, with Blasphemy, where you can hit every single enemy in the room at once. What, is this Sanic? Oh my god, Sanic. <laughs> Speed is key. Gotta go fast. This is... This is the run. What is going on? This is the speed run. Look at him go. Oh my god. Sanic, you beautiful bastard. I love you. You beautiful, beautiful bastard. Yeah, that damage buff is kind of nutty. It's such a huge damage buff, and it lasts quite a while, too. It, does, it, de it decays a lot slower than I would have expected. Especially with a weapon like this. It's very good. Like, it, it's kind of crazy that it manages to last into the next wave of combat. That's what I'm sort of most surprised about. It's okay, though. Sonic is just doing his best. It's not honestly very good, his best, because he keeps kind of uh, not attacking enemies because I kill them too quickly. But that's not really his fault, is it, I suppose? Not really his fault. This bad boy. Honestly, the hand cannon, not particularly bad. Might be okay for the boss, we'll see. I think the sword will probably be better, because this thing is mucho good. Right, let's get out of here. Need to make the most... Like, look at the damage we're doing right now. Or we're doing right now, I should have said. Okay, hand cannon probably not the best for us here. I always forget that if you hit the Molotov out of the air, it doesn't damage it. Oh, he finally lost some rings. Can I pick up the rings? I don't know, but I don't want to try right now. Dude, as if I got hit there. That was so stupid of me. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but still, it was pretty stupid. Okay, I can get the rings. Nice. And we got the, uh, the Hail to You, which is basically just the Genie's Lamp. And it doesn't seem to be any different. <laughs> Anyways, we are in speedrun mode, so we'll keep going. And yeah, he gave me a lot of money from his rings there, I think. We're up to 146 already. Speedy-ish first floor. Lost my flawless because I'm a dullard. A um, little bit annoying as well because now I'm closer to losing Blasphemy's ability, which I'd really, really, really hate to lose, especially with the weaponry that we have right now. Um, the weaponry they have right now isn't really great for room clearing. Blasphemy's kind of our best bet. Um, so I'd, I'd like to keep it around for at least a little bit longer. So either we want to buy armor or 
or just not take damage. That would also be a very pleasant idea. Oh, bollocks. For some reason, my brain just didn't really comprehend what was going on there. Um, in terms of the... Uh, that's a good bit of change there. My brain just didn't really comprehend what was going on there in terms of the, the elite having... The champion, sorry, having like double the abilities. I was like really, really confused. I tell a lie, this thing is pretty good for room clearing if you can hit all three shots. It's just not the most efficient use of its ammo. Although it's got quite a lot of ammo, so... Lots of keys there. Maybe I should just use the hand cannon. Beautiful. Okay, we got it back. Don't worry, we got it back. We got it back. We got it back. Also, something that I need to do... There you go. Zoom out my mini-map. I, I literally keep forgetting to do this, and I keep forgetting it's a thing that you can do. But I zoomed out my mini-map. Beautiful. And Cannon did a good job there. Yeah, I gotta say, I need to have it on the max, max amount of zoomed-outedness. This is a ludicrously strong run with basically just one item. I mean, I, I love having our little Sanic boy here, but he rarely gets the chance to, to be useful, I'll be honest. Rarely gets the chance to show off his skills. Ah, I have to stop using my goddamn gun, but the Derringer with this extra damage should kind of fuck to start with. Some more rings for me. There's some ammo for, I guess, this. Okay. I think I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy both the armors actually and the key. Why not? And then off world medicine, potion of gun swiftness, and the Russian revolver. Potion of gun swiftness. It's an. Probably want it. Grants full health when used. Removes all prior stacks of spice. Kind of interesting. Uh, I'll probably just try and buy the, the swiftness potion. Because I'm guessing that's fire rate. Potion of gun swiftness, it says. I'm hoping it's reload and fire rate. Considering it's an S tier, I'd imagine it's a reasonably big bonus. Shouldn't have bought all the armor first, just in case we can't afford it here. But I'm sure we will be able to. We only need another five or so. Let me get ourselves. Uh, this thing wasn't great the last time I used it, but I'll keep it in tow. Okay. Good, 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 good. Thank you, Sanic. You're a mimic, I can tell. Nice. Hey, that's good. I like that. We also got this shop as well. Unfortunately, nothing here is really that worthwhile. And I think we got enough. I think it was 110, right? Maybe 115. It's 115. Okay, we should get enough after the boss here. Right. Boss, we want to go with... I think we want to go with Genie's Lamp first. Actually, no, we want to go with the Swiper first, because I'm pretty sure the damage of the Genie is set. One second, my eyebrow is itching. Unfortunately, we're going to lose a lot of our breaching rounds there. Damage there just from you moving. Fiery Fury. Easy. Easy does it. An extra key as well. Right, back over here. 
see what this potion does. Let's have a little look-see. Immensely increases reload speed and doubles fire rate. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Right, let's go. This is a speedy run. We just need a, 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 a something to go well with this. Although hand cannon, I can imagine obviously it won't benefit from the fire rate, but the immensely increased reload speed could be really fun with the hand cannon, be able to kind of spam it, because it's got a very, very long reload. So maybe we'll uh, test that out. Take a, a is it, was it a D tier? A low tier weapon and make it quite a lot better. I uh, liketh the idea. Come on, little fella. Hurry yourself up. Ugh, floor loadings take so long now. Right. Let's make sure we've got the hand cannon ready. Especially with the fire as well. Another key, wow. Oh, hello. Cle cleanse curses, uh, char charges casings per floor. Gives casings up front but can't be, uh, can't can't gain from dropped casings. Increases damage but gives you thorns. But lose health each floor. Increased damage and gives you thorns. I kind of like that idea. Lose health each floor. I'm not quite sure if that means like health containers or flat HP. Because I wouldn't like it to remove my ability to use my, uh, my blasphemy. But I would be okay with it removing heart containers as long as it wasn't too many. If it was like one a floor, I probably wouldn't mind as long as I'm getting my, uh, what's it called? My, uh, Master of Chambers. Ooh, that was a bad hit by me there. I just kind of got a bit too hasty. I'm trying to look for a good room to test out the reload speed on, but so far these rooms have been fairly easy. Let's try this. Oh, shit. It's like instant reload. Okay, with this thing, yeah, this fucks. It goes from a, a, a mediocre weapon to, like, absolutely insane. It literally negates reload altogether. Also, what the hell happened there, exactly? I got cursed by something? Was that for using this weapon, maybe? Something happened and I gained some curse. Black hole gun. Guess I'll check this out. I don't think I can swipe these bullets away, can I? We'll never know. We'll take care of shift and see what happens. Chaotic shift does give us a bit of a damage down, I think. Don't worry about that. Our uh, thingy rounds will help. Need to be checking what our chaotic shifts were as well. Got an extra chest there, nice. Extra key, goddamn the keys this run. Did this gun merge to itself? By the looks of it, this gun might have merged to itself. Whatever it is, is also a one shot, which is good. That's not good, whatever that is. Maybe it, maybe it matches like the ammo type, because this one's also a one shot. I think that's the sling. Anyways, let's continue to use this. Platinum bullets, this is a god run. This is kind of a god run here. Let's 
I love like merge uh, transmogging enemies when they're over water, so they just like over a pit, so they just like die instantly. Can you stop, my good sir. Oh, you made me fucking touch the mushrooms now. This is, it's a YV shrine. This is a god run. <laughs> Hopefully I can get up to 30 cent here. Where's Sanic? Did Sanic die? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did Sonic die? What happened? <laughs> ah, is that what gave me curse? Did Sonic die? I think Sonic died, guys. I did not notice and I feel very bad about that. Liquid metal body, is that invincibility on being hit? That's liquid metal state. Yeah, yeah, it is. Invincibility on basically longer iframes, essentially. It's pretty good stuff. Um Nesting chest grants one key when picks up reusable. Um None of those really interest me too much. Nesting chest is interesting, but I can't remember if it takes up an active slot or not, or if it gives us another one. I think it gives us another one, but I'm not going to gamble with that. Easy. Get away from me. Good. Right. This run is just kind of popping off right now. Very mushroom heavy room here. Got a shop here as well. Oh, that was so stupid. So stupid. I didn't realize that thing was still active. Friendship bracelet. I'm sorry, but YV Shrine needs to be propped more. The pop pops are too good. I don't find YV Shrine anywhere near often enough to be happy. So. Also, I like our Platinum Sword right now. It's pretty cool. I know what room this is, but I still check it anyways. Oh, it's this room. I'm not going to do that for now, though. I'm pretty happy with how this run's going. Keeping it speedy. So quite long on that floor, considering, but it's all good nonetheless. It's all good, man. Didn't use the black hole gun at all there. Probably should have uh, should have used that one a little bit more. Ooh, Black Hole Gun with our active item could be kind of crazy. We should use our active more as well. Let's try and use it with the sword, see if it... It doesn't really do anything with the sword, okay. It does help with this, though. It also seems to last a really long time, too, which I very much like. Okie dokie. Platinum bullets keeps raising my stats. I'm using this thing just because it's got pretty good damage, but also basically got unlimited ammo right now. Ah, that, that shot was kind of brutal there. You cannot stop chasing me. Also, this has a good chance for pop-pop shots as well. Vacuum gun. 
which is some, some kind of shotgun. Seems kind of good. Yeah, seems pretty good. Da pretty damn good. Easy enough. Wow. Okay. Okay, what is this run? I think we just use this thing with metronome. Also, we're one damage off charging our active. That's kind of funny. Yeah, this is this is wild. Platinum bullets, pop pop, the breaching rounds, metronome. It's just all kind of crazy, right? And this thing has crazy ammo too, which is great. Not very good accuracy, but crazy ammo. That's all we care about. Bad thing is if I get hit by holding this, I think it does explode, but. We'll deal with that problem as it comes to it. The stats just keep climbing, baby. And it keeps transmogging annoying enemies too, which I love. Although it does transmog them into equally as annoying enemies sometimes, so... Get out of here, buffer guy. Where's the last enemy? Have to walk all the way around for him. Nice. Holy hell, this has been good. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Fuck you. He did this attack literally instantly the moment I popped my active item. Like, actually fuck you. Bloody hell, that was bullshit. <laughs> so annoying. Widow's ring. Charms at enemies can be instantly slain. Kind of an interesting idea. Keys in the sling. This shop, ooh, with backup gun. We need one more money for backup gun, and I'd very much like to grab that, because I love backup gun. More ammo, good, good. What's going on here? There's an enemy somewhere about that I can't find. It's you. That's what it is. It's a one of you, boys. Nope. Back over to get backup gun. Accuracy would also have been a good shout, but backup gun's more fun. Kershula? Wasn't expecting you here.
Hmm. Kind of interesting. Waxwing would have been fun. A lot of those would have been fun too. I think we got a good setup here. I'm going for the Ouroboros level. 25 minutes into the forge, baby. That is very speedy. I said I was going to do a speedy run. I can't believe Sonic died, though. What happened? I don't, did he give me anything when he died? Maybe he dropped something on the floor and I just missed it. If that's the case, very upsetting. It might have been like the cop, though, where he just gives you some stats. He definitely gave me curse, but I don't know what else. Because I'm guessing he died during the Cannon Balrog fight and I just didn't notice at the time. Because I definitely got some curse during that fight and I couldn't figure out where it came from, so... It's the only place I can think I got it from. Oh, Sanic. Unfortunately, this floor is the one that takes the longest to load. But yeah, I think we're going to kind of slap the rest of these floors, especially if we keep Metronome going. We haven't even got Metronome to max level yet. And there's Platinum Bullets on top of that. Now we've got Backup Gun going as well. Get some Herming in this bitch and this would be... This would be kind of crazy. Yeah, that accuracy might have been better overall DPS because we'd be more, we're more accurate. But Backup Gun is just fun. It's more bullets on screen. And as anyone that has seen me play Isaac or Gungeon will know, if there's more things, if there's more shots that I'm firing, I'm happy. I want any item that makes me fire more. Give me that Cricket's body. Give me that Scatter Shot, which I haven't had in so long, by the way. It's been, it's been like a year since I've seen Scatter Shot. Genuinely can't remember the last time I had it on a run. Just one of those vanilla items that I never see anymore. Which is a shame, because it's, it's definitely one of my favourites. Come on, Flaw, this is ridiculous. People can need to look into what the hell's going on with the ridiculous load times, especially on the Forge. It's kind of getting on my nerves. <laughs> the other Flaws are slow, but this one especially is just like four minutes. <laughs> and it's probably not that long, but it's still multiple minutes of waiting around. For no good reason. Oh god. Um, why is my fire rate so high? Is that something to do with backup gun? I definitely want to be using my backup gun more so than anything else. Okay, it's stopped now. Did my active item get activated or something? Who's the, who's the little fucker that's spawning all the skeletons, by the way? Get out of here, you. What's that massive fire rate burn about? This is risky. That is a room I do not like. We found the boss already. We could just go for it. Let's just go for it. Damn it, I got hit. Lost my, lost my beautiful gun. Lost my beautiful, beautiful gun. Right. Keep pushing forward. Easy. This gun's really good with the amount of ammo it has too now. Probably use the vac. I might use the vacuum gun to get through bullet hell. Just a shame I lost all my metronome bonus. Hey, nice one. YV's helping with that a lot.
How much ammo do we have on the vacuum gun? Yeah, very good amount. Let's let's go for that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't need no chests. Just gonna go to bullet hell. We've got a good setup. We're raring to go. Yeah, really big shame that we lost our kind of mega gun, but it was cool we managed to keep it for as long as we did, to be honest, so I'm happy about that. I knew that if we got hit, we were gonna lose it, so it was a risk. It's just kind of cool that it duct taped to itself, which is rare. Like, very, very rare. At least I think that's what happened. It looked to be. It seems to be a reasonably good setup. Okay, keep it going. Easy breezy. Ooh, table tech heat with a radiated lead, maybe? Hidden tech flare. I need to be using all my guns backwards, because backup gun seems to fire a lot more shots for some reason. Not quite sure why, but it does. The insta-killing that we do at the start of rooms is just obscene. Aw, oh, bollocks. I think I just packed this guy full of too many shots to be able to dodge the... My bad. I did manage to find a secret room though, but it's not one that I'm willing to use. Hate this, hate this, hate this. Kill him! Fuck! My goodness, that was horrible. Oh, for God's sake. Keep losing my net metronome to some fucking stupid shit that I'm doing. Mostly fine, because we don't need the metronome. I mean, we have three times damage as a base that goes up to ten times when we enter a room. That guy just feeding this motherfucker. Scary. 3.35 times, up to 11 times, it's just nutty, plus the metronome damage on top of that. Might be some of the highest damage I've ever had. Bullshit. Pulled that guy right into me. Stupid. I knew the risks. If I don't reload this thing, it's kind of ass. <laughs> What are you doing over here? Didn't mean to use that. Swap weapon there for no reason. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's time.
I don't know why at the start of the combat we get that mega usage of it there, but good stuff. You're hitting me, but I don't really care. Right, face down. Ready to go. Using all of my extra damage up. Fuck you. Okay, let's head back around now. Easy. Oh my god, this is just going so nicely. God damn, using up all my breaching rounds is bullshit. There's no reloading my life, is pretty nice too. Oh, oh, oh look at this. There you go. A nice, quick, simple, pimple 37 minute run to the Lich. Easy peasy. Hey, we got a big sword unlocked. Nice. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. Another Ouroboros level climbed. And yeah, what an episode. That was just like one of the most powerful runs I've had in a long while. The items there were obscenely good. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was pretty fantastic. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.